Subtraction is, of course, the inverse operation of addition. So, because 740 add 260 equals 1,000, then 1,000 take away 740 must be 260, and 1,000 subtract 260 must be 740. The pupils will still work on operations involving two-digit or three-digit numbers, and they will continue setting numbers out in columns. So, if we look at this question, in columns... That's going to be 849, take away 97. And the key is always to keep the units in line. So the nine units, seven units, they're in line. And that makes the whole process much simpler. Nine take seven is two, two units. Four tens take nine tens. We haven't got enough tens. So we're going to use one of the hundreds to give us 10 extra tens. So that now we've got 14 tens, but only seven hundreds. 14 take away 9 is 5, and of course seven hundreds take away nothing is 700. Final answer 752. Some questions present greater difficulties. If you look at this example involving four digit numbers, again, starting at the units, 5 take away 4 is one unit. But now we're coming to the tens. 110 take away 4 tens. We haven't got enough tens. We haven't got any hundreds that we can use to make tens. So we need to make some hundreds first by using one of the thousands. So there are now five thousands and ten hundreds. We're going to use one of those hundreds. So there are now nine hundreds. That gives us ten extra tens. So now the process becomes quite simple. 11 take away 4 gives us 7 tens, 9 hundreds take away 3 hundreds gives us 6 hundreds, and 5 thousands take away 2 thousand gives us 3 thousand, 3 thousand 671. Using the same skills, they can move on to even larger numbers. It's important that they understand what each column represents, so those are the units, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, and the ten thousands. Starting, of course, at the units, 5, subtract 7, there aren't enough units, cross out the 7 tens, leave 6 tens. We've now got 15 units, 15 take away 7 is 8 units. 6 tens take away 3 tens is 3 tens. 100 take away 2 hundreds, not enough hundreds, so use one of the thousands, that leaves 1,000 there, gives us 10 extra hundreds. So now we've got 11 hundreds take away 2 hundreds is 9 hundreds, 1,000, subtract 5,000, not enough thousands, so use one of the 10 thousands. So now we've got two lots of 10 thousands, 11 thousands, 11 take away 5 is 6 thousand, Two ten thousand take away one ten thousand is one ten thousand. So the final answer, 16,938. The children are also able to move on to smaller numbers involving decimals. They need to know that that seven represents seven units. There's one tenth. There's three units, two tenths and five hundredths. So when they put them into columns, again, they need to get the units in line. So there's the units column. The decimal points are also in line, and we can put one ready there. The tenths are in line, and of course we've only got five hundredths. Now, it makes life simpler if we put a zero up there. 7.10 has exactly the same value as 7.1. We always start at the right-hand side, starting at the hundredths. Zero take away five. We haven't got enough hundredths to take away five, so we'll use that tenth and leave no tenths but give ourselves ten hundredths. Ten take away five is five. Zero tenths take away two tenths. We'll use one of the units to give us ten extra tenths. Ten take away two is eight. Six units take three units is three units. Final answer 3.85. The children need plenty of practice, but confidence in knowing how to find the answers is the key to mathematical success.